In this video, I want to show you a few other keys that are useful to know about when working with your computer. So, here we are in WordPad with some text already entered into the program. First of all, I want to talk about the Insert key, here. On some keyboards, this key is labelled Insert slash Overwrite. Pressing it will toggle the computer between Insert mode and Overwrite mode. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use the cursor keys to move my cursor back to the middle of this line. Now, if I start typing, you can see how new words are inserted into the line. What happens if I press the Insert key now? Well, the computer will be toggled into Overwrite mode. Let's try it now. Now, let's see what happens when I type. See how the old words are replaced with the new? This is Overwrite mode. Press Insert again to go back to Insert mode. Note that this doesn't work in all Windows programs. For example, it's not supported in Notepad. Most software that supports text entry does support it, however. Now I want to talk briefly about these keys here, the Windows keys. These keys are not present on every keyboard, though most modern keyboards do have them. They work in a similar way to the Control and Shift keys, in that when you press them, the functions of some keys are changed. Pressing Windows key and E, for example, will open up an Explorer window. There it is. Other software on your computer may also define different functions for the Windows key. Let's close this window for now. Finally, I want to mention the print screen key, which is just here. Many years ago, pressing this key would make the computer print the contents of the screen directly to your printer. However, pressing it now appears to do nothing. Although it does really do something, it actually puts a copy of the contents of the screen into the clipboard. If you've not watched our video on the clipboard yet, you may not understand. But if you go to Edit Paste in WordPad, you'll see a picture of our screen has been pasted into the document. Of course, this picture could be pasted into any program that supports graphical data, such as Windows Paint or the excellent free Paint.net package. This can be very useful for taking screenshots for submitting bug reports, for example. And that concludes this lesson.